So you want to freelance as a web developer, but you're struggling, you haven't made any money, you haven't gotten any jobs, you can't even kind of figure out, you don't even have a plan to actually get started. And you're seeing everything that's wrong with it. And you just want to make sure before you really waste your time, you kind of know the landscape. You need somebody to give you specific details about what's going on so you're not wasting your time. Even if you can make some money, you just need to know how to do it and don't waste a lot of time. I got you covered, guys. I got three things we're going to talk about in this video, and we're going to give you guys details and let you know how to move. Let me get into the video, and then let me explain. All right, a couple of things you need to know before you get into freelance guys and just start to making money. It really comes down to the client, what the client needs, and mold your services and your processes you're learning around that. I know a lot of you guys have already started learning how to code and you're getting into it you took your couple of courses and you are ready to make money and you think hey just because i got this knowledge i'm ready to start making money it don't work that way it's all about finding the right clients guys if you find the right clients and you know what they need you can really tailor your message around solving their problems your skill set and know exactly what to say know exactly what to learn know exactly what projects that's going to actually get you the money with these particular clients guys a lot of you guys may think hey rod how do i find these clients and find that work we talk about that in step number four in our seven step guide that's going to allow you guys to really put yourself in a position so that you can target the right clients i know you're going in upwork and fiverr and all these places and applying 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 and just don't get a shot. It's gonna always be like that. You gotta be able to stand out, guys. You got to know how to uh, address specifically what these clients need. And just finding the right clients, um, better clients, guys, because uh, uh, let's get straight to the crux of things. Some of these clients are not good clients. You know, at the beginning, you got to deal with these clients. Yes, you got to deal with these clients, but it gets to the point to where you got to find better clients <laughs> because it some clients suck and you don't have a choice at the beginning because you're just trying to make ends meet. You don't have a lot of experience, so it's going to suck at the beginning. I wish I can tell you better, but that's what we got to live with. So that being said, if you know that the clients suck and you know that, hey, after time, over time, you're gonna find, hey, I like these specific things about clients and I don't like these certain things. So you're gonna find a client that fits you more and be a better client. And you're gonna work with that level of technology. That's the name of the game. If you are getting all these clients that you hate, you're not gonna do it long, you're not gonna make any money, and your life is going to suck as a freelance developer. And a lot of you guys may haven't even found clients because you're targeting the wrong clients and they're just not getting you work based off of, of your feedback, guys. But what I want you guys to do, tell me about your particular situation, your story. Are you able to find clients? Are you having a hard time? Are you dealing with somebody you just don't want to work with? Share your story below. Let's start a conversation so that we can make sure we put you in a better position to either find a client or find better clients, guys. So let's start a conversation in the comment section. All right, number two, guys, solution-based billing. Yes, let's talk about money a little bit. A lot of you guys doing this hourly work and you know, you're making money, but you're trying to figure out how you can make more money, how you can scale. Um, a lot of you guys gonna make the mistake of just getting a lot of clients, which that's fine and dandy. You wanna have you know a lot of clients so that you don't depend on just one. But once you get to 10 clients, 11 clients, 12 clients, you can only go so far without really spreading yourself too thin. And part of the issue is a lot of you guys have not been solution-based billing. You've been hourly billing. And at the beginning, it's okay to hourly bill because you don't have a reputation trying to get started, get some experience. But your your I would say your first project you want to do, your first maybe one or two projects with a client should be hourly based work. You know, if that's what they're looking for and all that stuff. You know, because you want to make sure you get that first contract, get experience, and and kind of get your stuff going. But you should quickly. Quickly after three, four, five projects, go to solution-based 
uh, billing to where, hey, I am solving you to solve this specific problem. Regardless of how long it takes, you got to solve this problem. And a lot of you guys going to get this. You don't understand this concept because you have been working with just I do this hourly work and I bill this much. Step back. I know it's weird for you, but at the end of the day, if a customer have a problem, they're willing to pay you twenty, thirty thousand dollars for and it's a problem for it, and they're willing to pay that, they don't care how long it took to actually solve that problem. You could solve that problem in three hours, two hours, four hours, and still charge $30,000 if done correctly. We show you guys how to do that in our seven step guide. I can't cover everything in this video, but what I want to tell you is at the end of the day, if you do solution-based billing, it's gonna train your life dramatically. It's gonna put you in a position where you can be good with seven to 10 clients doing solution-based billing, and you're working nowhere near how you're working today, guys. You got to make sure as a freelance developer, you structure your business in a way where it optimized for you to solve problems and charge what that problem is worth or two or three times what that customer or that client's willing to pay for that work. We talk about this in our 30 day developer course too, is guys. Links below to all these goodies in the description box, guys. Go ahead and check them out because at the end of the day, we got to get you that money that you need to live the lifestyle you want, whatever that may be side hustle, full time job, part time job. We got you covered, guys. So, links are below to all that so that we can get you more to that solution based billing model. Number three, guys, long term accounts. What people don't tell you about freelance is, again, we talked about this as far as just finding better clients. Part of finding better clients is long-term clients. If you're churning clients, just churning, 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 you're spending more time trying to find clients than actually solve problems. You don't make money finding clients. You make money solving problems. Once you find that particular client that works for your, your company, you need to start thinking about long-term roadmaps to move this, this client forward. And you're doing this for all of your clients. Once you've actually started that roadmap, they see all the value, that what creates a long-term client, guys. What don't create a long-term client is you coming in, I'm just gonna do uh, JavaScript, 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 web development, web development, web development, and that's what you're focusing on. Step back and look at the actual problem that you're trying to solve. Once you start that with that first problem, there's normally more problems. There's normally a roadmap. There's normally support has to be done to support that code base. If you present yourself the right way, guess who can get that recurring revenue? Revenue that you're just making sure the code actually works. You're doing the same code for multiple clients, 10 clients. So how much time you're actually spending actually writing code? Not a lot. Customer just want the problem solved. Customer want to make sure that, hey, I don't have to think about this. I just think about making money and actually um, things are being taken care of by people who they're paying. That's where they want to be, guys. A lot of you guys don't understand the concept of, hey, somebody going to pay me to write the code. And then months after that, they're just going to pay me to make sure I maintain the code. They don't know that I'm not doing a lot to maintain the code, especially if you're up to date. And then you, t you mean to tell me I can do this for multiple people too? Multiple clients as well? Now you're starting to see the potential with freelance development. And if you don't do this, you're gonna have some problems, man. You're gonna be the, I hate to say it, um, the WordPress developer that's just doing updates all the time, having to bust their butt and having to do new stuff, new stuff, new stuff. You don't do no service contract work. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you the reality of the situation. You know, I'm not gonna cover everything here on this video because I want people in my DigiLink community and part of the 30 day developers gonna get the insight on this i'm not giving all the ju juicy details to the general public so if you guys want all of the juicy details and be a part of the digital community and get ahead of the game and know how to operate links are below to that seven step guide links are below to that 30-day developer course guys go check that out because at the end of the day 
if you don't get this, you're gonna be stuck making 20, 30 grand a year as a freelance, which is good, you know, it pays the bills. But why not make 100, 150 for the same level of work that you're doing now? That's all I'm saying, you know? You, you're not doing anything different than what you're doing now. You're just having more impact. You are putting that time that you're spending doing, I don't know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars worth of work a year. Now you can four or five X that doing the same amount of work, guys. But at the end of the day, you do what you want to do. Like, subscribe to the content. If you have additional questions, comment below. And um, I'll put links to the seven step guy here on the screen. And I'll see you guys in the next video.